Hello, and welcome to our tutorial. In this video, we'll explain how to install the Revolution X application, then how to use the various settings to create your own game profiles for your controller from your Xbox or PC. To access all settings of the Revolution X controller, go to the Microsoft Store in your web browser, the Start menu of your PC, or directly from your Xbox One or Xbox Series XS. Type Revolution X in the search bar, then download and install the app for free. Once the app is installed, select and launch the software from My Games and Apps on your Xbox or via the Start menu on your PC. To use the software, make sure your Revolution X controller is connected to one of the USB ports on your console or PC. If the halo around the right stick on your controller is on, your controller is connected properly. Once the app is open, use your Revolution X controller or your mouse if on PC to navigate the software. From the app's homepage, you can access the controller settings and update the controller's firmware. The software's navigation controls are shown at the bottom left of the screen. On PC, use the Escape key to go back. Select Management of Profiles to access settings. The four profiles displayed at the top of the screen, which can be accessed with LB and RB, correspond to the advanced profiles currently stored in your controller. You can find all your saved profiles in My Profiles. The profiles currently available in advanced mode on the Revolution X are shown with an icon. Now, let's jump into the creation of your profile. Select New Profile, then give it a name, and press Next. Use your controller's LB and RB buttons to navigate between the sections shown at the top of the screen. Mapping, Right Stick, Left Stick, Triggers, Audio, and Advanced Settings. You can restore the default settings at any time by pressing the button at the bottom of the screen. With the mapping menu, you can assign your own commands to each of the controller's buttons, except the Xbox, View, Menu, and Share buttons. Press the Y button or use the arrow to access the RB, RT, LB, and LT buttons of the Revolution X. Use your left stick or D-pad to navigate the table of commands on the left side of the screen. Select the button you want to program by pressing the A button. Then select the command you want to assign in the list and press the A button to confirm. The process is the same to configure all buttons. With the left stick and right stick menus, you can set the response curve for each stick. Start by choosing from one of the Nacon presets that you will be able to adjust manually if needed. By modifying the response curve of your sticks, you can adjust how fast the controller responds to your movements and thus the responsiveness of your cursor based on the type of game you are playing. The stick's dead zone refers to the stick's central position when no signal is sent to the cursor on the screen. The larger the dead zone, the more you need to tilt the stick before you see a response on the screen. Increase or decrease each stick's dead zone value with the D-pad. Finally, you can invert the Y-axis of both your sticks and adjust its sensitivity with the plus and minus buttons. You can restore the default settings at any time by pressing the button at the bottom of the screen. Like the sticks, there are several modes available for adjusting the LT and RT haptic trigger sensitivity on your Revolution X. The trigger sensitivity level is depicted as a scale line from 0 to 100. This corresponds to the distance it travels before performing the command. You can also manually adjust each of these values. For an even more personalized gaming experience, the Revolution app also includes audio settings for your headphones when connected to the jack port of the controller. Various modes are available to adjust the equalizer to your game's sound environment, and you can also enter your own custom values. Additional settings can be accessed on the right of the screen. Audio 3D Effect Toggle for Sound Spatialization Caution! We recommend to keep it turned off when Dolby Atmos for headphones is being used. Microphone Gain for Voice Chat Noise Suppression Algorithm Toggle for clearer communication during games. Again, you can restore the default settings at any time by pressing the button at the bottom of the screen. Once you've adjusted your button, stick, trigger, and audio settings, return to the Advanced Settings menu. There are several additional options available in this menu to further tweak your game profile. The Revolution X has four vibration motors, two in the grips, and two haptic motors in the triggers. The intensity of each of these motors can be adjusted to suit your individual tastes. There are also several lighting effects that can be selected for the right stick halo. Choose up to four different colors to give your controller a unique look. 
you can adjust the brightness of the backlighting and choose different lighting effects for an even more distinctive style. Finally, you can also invert the left and right sticks and choose between an 8-way or 4-way D-pad. Once you have finished, your new profile will be automatically saved to the internal memory of your controller. Your Revolution X is now customized. Don't forget to quit the app after using it so that your profiles are sent to your controller. You can return to the app at any time from your console or PC to adjust settings or create new profiles as required. See you soon and happy gaming!